Just three weeks remaining in the high school football season after tonight. And for the team still standing that much closer to a high school title. Welcome into Fairway Forward Friday Night Hits. I'm Mark Whiteman. Thanks as always for joining us. We began up in Gaffney, a rematch of last year's 5A playoff game where T.L. Hanna topped the Indians by a point. It's T.L. Hanna. It's Gaffney. It's Julia Morris with our Game of the Week. T.L. Hanna and Gaffney have been two of the best teams in the upstate all season long. The Yellow Jackets entered this matchup with 10 wins this season, and the Indians had an 11-0 record. Gaffney gets off to a great start. First quarter, Grayson Loftus hits Jadarius Little John, and Little John goes all the way. 47-yard score, Gaffney's up 7-0. But Hannah quick to respond. Yellow Jackets next possession, Jay Dillard rolling out and he throws a perfect ball to Carson Batchelor. Tie game, it's tied at the end of the first. In the second, Gaffney's up 14 to seven and the Indians offense strikes again. Check out the flea flicker. Loftus launches a beauty to Little John. That's a 49 yard touchdown pass and the Indians are up 21 to seven. But with two seconds left before halftime, Fletcher Cothran punches it in for the Yellow Jackets. It's a one touchdown game at the break. Still close in the fourth, Gaffney's up eight, but Hannah pulls within two after that Cabrillo Morrison touchdown. Yellow Jackets attempt a two point conversion to try and tie the game, but the Indians defense comes up with the big stop. Gaffney scores another late touchdown and the Indians defense coming up with a big interception in the final minute of the game. Indians win it 34 to 26. You know, our guys played, played well, played hard, and the competitors did also, and it's what high school football is supposed to be like. I think everybody got their money's worth. With the win, Gaffney improves to 12 and 0, and the Indians will look to keep their undefeated season in place next week in an upper state semifinal game. At Gaffney High School, I'm Julia Morris, WIFF News 4 Sports. Julia, thank you. What a win for Gaffney. The Daniel Lions have followed up their 2020 championship with another title worthy season, still unbeaten. Daniel destroyed Keenan 52 to 6 last Friday in their first round playoff win, hosting a potent Woodruff team tonight that dropped 55 last Friday. And you can believe this the first meeting between these teams since the upper state championship game of 1966. Daniel won that game 7 to 6. 55 years later, both teams scoring a whole lot more. Carson Tucker's made plays all year for Woodruff, but he doesn't see Boston Miller, and Miller's in for the interception. Pick six return for Daniel. Lions draw first blood, and you can only contain the Lions offense so long. Corey Shaw, tough running, taking defenders with him, and he's working so hard, you might as well reward him. It's Shaw in for another Daniel touchdown. He puts the Lions up 14 to nothing, and it's Daniel moving on 49 to 21. They will host the winner of Lower Richland and Clinton. We will have those highlights still to come. How's that for teams? Chapman on a roll. The Panthers have won seven straight thanks to an offense scoring 43 every Friday, hosting Chester. The these Cyclones like to run the rock over 21,000, 2,100 rushing yards this year. Picked this one up third quarter. Chester Zan Dunham back to pass. It's picked off by Andrew Melton. First down, Chapman ensuing possession. And into the fourth quarter, Derek Miller takes the handoff. And uh oh, he's gone. 30 yards pick up and a big first down a couple plays later. It's Miller. They're going to hand it off again. Kids grooving, so might as well just go right back to him. And this time, he finds the end zone. Chapman goes up 28 to 17, but the Cyclones come back late and they knock off Chapman 33 to 28. Chester to play the winner of Wren in Powdersville. That one, of course, still to come. Been an awesome season for Clinton. Red Devils have 10 wins for the first time since 2009. Looking to keep it going tonight on the road at Lower Richland. Bryson James. Punching it in, and the Red Devils lead 7-0 in the first quarter. Tied at 7 now. Diamond Horn stringing drives together. Jeremy Barney right down Broadway into the end zone, and Lower Richland has the lead, but it's Clinton trailing 20-7 at the half. They storm back and stun Lower Richland on the road. The Red Devils are upper state semis bound 48-34. That means Clinton will take on Dan next week. Let's drop in on a couple scores for you. Northwestern taking care of Burns at home 42-3 and South Point beating Lawrence 47-20. 
In 4A, Greenwood hosting Catawba Ridge in a rematch of a Week 3 17-14 Eagles win. The 9-1 region winning Eagles are having a special year. The Copperheads have a special player and sophomore quarterback Jaden Davis, the top-ranked recruit in the 2024 class. He already has offers from Alabama, Auburn, and Georgia. So the Eagles had their work cut out for them, slowing down Mr. Davis. There he is right there. And Greenwood certainly up to the challenge, leading Catawba 21-9 at the half, midway through the third. It's Dalen Rapley handing off to Marion Morton, rumbling 41 yards, and Morton in untouched 28-9. At that point, Greenwood up. And they certainly kept Davis in check in this game into the fourth quarter. Now Greenwood looking to tack on to their lead. Davon, uh, Dalen Rapley, excuse me, adds to the lead. A five-yard touchdown. And Greenwood beats Catawba Ridge 42-30. Greenwood will play South Point next week. The Greenville Red Raiders have exploded for 110 points in their last two games. Down in Columbia facing the defending state champion AC Flora Falcons. Raiders up 14 to 11 in the third. Flora's Marco Townsend has entered the chat. Falcons surge in front 18 to 14. But Greenwood, Greenville hangs in. And with 56 seconds left in the game, Pro Franklin throwing it up to Tyler Brown who hauls it in for the game winning score. The Red Raiders remarkable season continues. Greenville knocks off the state champs 27 to 26 and they will play the winner of Irmo and Westside. Highlights still to come. The last two two-way champs meet in Abbeville. Panthers hosting Saluda. First meeting between schools since the Tigers topped Abbeville in the 2019 Upper State Final. Scoreless in the first, Jamal Marshall. Jet sweep, untouched on his way to the corner store. And the Panthers have an early 7-0 lead. Saluda's Jonah McCary handing it off to Montrevious Baker and the big fella doing the rest. But it's Abbeville who comes back to Beat up on Saluda here, 49 to 34. Their unbeaten season continues, and they will play the winner of Crescent and Gray Collegiate. We've got that game still to come. Let's go back to the scores for you real quick. Newberry beating Chesterfield 56 to 20, and Lamar taking care of McCormick 14 to zip. Powdersville's perfect season remaining intact last week. A one-point win over Broome in the first round of the playoffs. Patriots unbeaten this deep into the year for the first time ever. Home for round two against the Red Hurricanes. Wren's won three straight in six of their last eight games, and it's the Hurricanes with an early lead from midfield. Gavin Owens, Hayden Huddle. How about a 50-yard strike down the sideline for the Hurricanes? Hutto makes a move, makes a man miss, and he's in. 14 0 early Wren leads against Powdersville. Patriots staring down a Category 5 storm. They'd respond. Thomas Williams from 21 yards out. Powdersville still down 14 6 after Williams gets into the end zone and into the fourth quarter. Eli Hudgens rolling out and hits his guy Drake Sloan for a big time touchdown. Wren, however, still leads 17 to 14, but Powdersville has the ball again, and it's Jalen Rampert running it in for the touchdown, and the Powdersville win 21 to 17. The Patriots' unbeaten season continues, and they'll take on Chester next week. We're taking a quick timeout as we reach halftime, but as we go to break, we'd like to take a moment to thank each and every coach kind enough to wear a wire for us this year. It's appreciated more than you know, and with that, we present the best of Mike Dutton from 2021. Kick off, kick off, let's go. Do you have endurance? Let's go. Don't beat yourself. Y'all just did an incredible play to come back first and 40. They fixing to roll him up like a cheap tip from Kmart. You got to feel it, you got to smell it. Let's go. Dig deep right here, go get one. With a fight, baby, with a fight. I know how it is to get yelled at. That's why I just like to come speak talk. I ain't going to sit here and yell at you. <laughs> and I love 50 Cent. I love Soldier Boy. 